Despite the fact that legal battles are still ongoing, Shurda Tairati, the chief legal officer of Ripple, makes light of the complex and fascinating manner in which individuals define the cryptocurrency ecosystem. Despite all of the issues, XRP is still in a solid position and is prepared for potentially making a comeback. Keeping an eye on things is important since the way regulations are enforced is still being altered by the decisions of the courts. Please remember to follow, like, and share this post. Let's get started. We are beginning with the premise that the current low price of XRP cannot continue for an extended period of time. Having a low price point was not the intention. The possibility that it might be relatively expensive is incomprehensible. Furthermore, if $1 is equivalent to 1 XRP, then they would require 1 million of them, which would cost $1 million more. If the value of XRP was $1 million, then they would require 1 XRP, which would cost them an additional $1 million. New regulations have been issued by the Monetary Authority of Singapore Maz, which will have an emphasis on enterprises that provide digital payment services and will provide particular instructions for individuals who are in charge of digital assets. A specialized license for institutions was granted to Ripple prior to the publication of the new regulations in November of 2023. Modifications to the Payment Service Act have been made by the Monetary Authority of Singapore. These modifications are connected to cryptocurrencies and place an emphasis on service providers from the digital payment token industry. In addition, it has issued guidelines for the custody of digital information. As a result of this, the act currently encompasses three distinct categories of additional services. Transactions that involve digital assets that are stored or token transfers, even if the service provider retains ownership of the DPT's payments that are made across international borders, even if the money is located in Singapore. In accordance with the new regulations, the digital assets that customers have placed in their trust must be maintained in a different location from the assets owned by the service provider. On the other hand, they do not state that they are required to employ an external guardian. When it comes to the XRP lawsuit, the months of March and April are crucial dates to keep an eye on. The issues were discussed on April 16th before to the final preliminary hearings that Judge and Lisa Torres were scheduled to attend. Ripple is getting ready to respond by the 22nd of April, which is the date that SAC has requested further time to file documents so that they can demonstrate how bad the situation is. The initial court date is on April 23rd. As of the 29th of April, the final day to submit an application to settle the lawsuit occurred. Following the conclusion of that date, the judge will finally make a ruling. In the case of Ripple vs. Sack, the leading attorney, calls attention to the court who finds fault with the agency's direction. As a result, Stuart Alderati, the chief legal officer of Ripple, brought up a significant issue that Judge and Lisa Torres made in the case involving Ripple. One of the most significant points of contention is brought up by Alderati's attention on Judge Torres' detractors, which is the Sack's utilization of the Howey test in order to appraise Bitcoin assets. Therefore, in one of the findings that Judge Torres made in the Ripple case, she stated that the SAC had violated the purpose that the Howey test was intended to accomplish. According to Alderati, Judge Torres was aware that the SAC's expansive applications of the test to crypto assets did not correspond with cases in which promoters made explicit statements to investors about a business that was clearly established. Regarding the most recent decision made by Coinbase, the chief legal officer of Ripple made a statement that was ambiguous. During the previous week, United States District Judge Katerina Polkfella stated that the action brought against Coinbase by the United States Securities and Exchange Commission is permitted to proceed. However, she also provided the cryptocurrency exchange with a measure of success. In this section, Alderati discusses a portion of the decision that he believed contained four distinct and ambiguous definitions of what a crypto ecosystem is. It is an investment in an unformist environment, regardless of how, why, or where the token was purchased. According to the SACs, he continues by saying that whenever the token is purchased, it is considered an investment. This brought to light a statement made by Judge Torres in a Ripple case, which stated that, Alderati stated that he had examined all of the information and was aware that the SACs had gone in a totally different direction than Howie, which was a situation in which a marketer informed investors directly about a business that was clearly defined. On March 26th, the SAC submitted its move for remedies as well as the entry of the final verdict. When it comes to the Ripple case, we at MIMO are in agreement with both the motion and the suggested decision. When it comes to the Ripple vs. SAC case, the dates of April 22nd and 23 are the most crucial ones to keep an eye on from this point forward. May 6, 2024 is the date that Ripple will provide an answer to the SAC over the $2 billion in fines that it is seeking. The chief legal officer of Ripple is dissatisfied with the manner in which SAC is handling the decision on Coinbase. According to Ripple's chief legal officer, the SAC's definition of the ecosystem, which has an impact on the legal standing of cryptocurrency, is overly convoluted. Despite the fact that there have been legal issues, XRP is still steady and still has the potential to return. There is a lack of consistency in the manner in which judges interpret crypto law, which makes it more difficult to comprehend the regulations. As a result of this, in a recent address when a detailed examination was conducted by Stuart Alderati, the chief legal officer for Ripple, on the description of the cryptocurrency ecosystem that was presented in the verdict that Judge Katharina Fela issued on Coinbase on March 27th. The term ecosystem was utilized by Judge Fela to designate to the networks of enterprises that were managed by the individuals who created and promoted the 13 crypto assets, as well as the reason why the price of $1 will remain unchanged until the end of April. On what basis will XRP be priced? The price of XRP has decreased dramatically as a direct consequence of this.
In the midst of a broad pessimistic attitude, the price of XRP is currently trading at $0.58, which is a decrease of 2% over the course of the previous day. Additionally, it has dropped below the significant $0.60 mark. In spite of the fact that the market had a minor shift, investors continue to exercise caution with regard to XRP. The fact that digital assets are currently valued approximately $32 billion substantiates the fact that, according to the statistics provided by CoinMarketCap, they are the seventh largest cryptocurrency. Over the course of the past 24 hours, there has been a significant increase in the volume of trading, which has increased by more than 37% and is currently $2 billion. The fact that this spike occurred demonstrates that investors are getting more interested in XRP. Recently, the price of XRP increased, which allowed it to overcome levels of resistance that had been present for a considerable amount of time. After several months of significant advancement, something occurred, but Altcoin has been experiencing a decline as of late following a period of significant increases, which has caused people to speculate about the direction it will take in the future. Within the past few months, the price of XRP has decreased by 7.5, and within the past week, it has decreased by 8%. Due to the fact that the price of XRP has primarily increased between $0.63 and $0.58 over the course of the past week, this indicates a bearish market trend in a market mood that is often negative. Bearish forces and positive forces are constantly engaged in a war, and the fact that bears occasionally emerge victorious is evidence that the market is unpredictable. Because of the significant price declines that have occurred across the cryptocurrency market as a whole, including well-known cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and BNB. Bitcoin saw a decline of around 4%, Ethereum experienced a decline of approximately 6%, and BNB experienced a decline of approximately 3%. Bitcoin was the only cryptocurrency that saw a decline, and it was the only one. As a consequence of these widespread declines, which exhibited percentage losses that were comparable to one another, the XRP market was subjected to a negative impact. This was a result of the fact that the market was negatively affected, which led to this effect. It is feasible that the pretrial conference that will take place between Ripple and the SEC in April might have a big impact on the way that cryptocurrencies will be governed in the future. This is something that is possible. On the other hand, this is something that could happen. The possibility of this happening is not completely out of the question. This is a situation that has come about as a consequence of the Securities and Exchange Commission's SE intention to levy a significant fine against Ripple applications for selling undergirds to stocks, as well as the fact that both parties have reached an agreement on a settlement and requested additional time to meet their respective deadlines. Both of these factors have contributed to the current situation. It appears that XRP has demonstrated a discernible resilience according to the technical indicators and market estimations for the cryptocurrency. This is because it has consistently maintained a price that is greater than the significant level of $0.58. This is the reason behind this. This is because it has maintained a price that is higher than the mark for a considerable amount of time across a number of years. Assuming that the current rising trend continues, there is a possibility that XRP may be able to advance over the previous level of resistance, which was $0.65. This would be a significant achievement. Um, if the cryptocurrency were to achieve something of this magnitude, it would be a significant achievement. In the event that the positive momentum continues to develop, the price has the ability to break over the barrier of $0.90 and quickly approach $1. This would be the case if the price continues to grow further. In the event that the market continues to perform poorly, there is a possibility that the price of XRP will fall below $0.57. This is a possibility. As a result of this, an awful turn of events would take place as a consequence. If the price continues to move closer to the support zone that is positioned at $0.555, then it is probable that this may take place. The occurrence of this is not completely out of the question.